And that's how you do it. Marvelous. You got it? Beautiful. Didn't film any of that. Oh. Do you want to pass it back down? Yeah. Well, the lintel fits. Because with the rent, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's only a small opening. Oh, sorry. Well, there's none. No. Well, that's good. Good morning. It's the Monday. The twelfth. I'm going to take his word for it. It's March. The the twelfth of March, according to Dad. And we are on a lintel, but a bit of a different one than usual. This one is stonework. So, same rules. We just basically have to take out bit of the stone. What we're gonna have to do is this one here, we just need to cut that in half because obviously we can't have yeah this one's yeah. sorry <laughs> this one in half. Good I'm not uh, in charge isn't it? So because obviously a cavity tray going all the way out here it's a bit unnecessary. Mm -hmm. So we'll cut that down to match the uh, joint or a bit further out so we can get an upstand a bit closer and so it spans to our lintel. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be nice and easy to prop this, we just prop it from the rendering. Pop, we're going to take a picture of this, yes. so we know what the bond was. Mm -hmm. And then we can... Um, Show them the lintel how bad it is. Yeah, you can see it from here, can't you? Yeah. It's jacked above as well, close above. So, we're going to do our, our thing, put the Midas touch on it and make it a nice... Have we got, have we got, have we got the lintel? Dad's been on the ball this weekend. I've not done anything. It's all in. Ooh. Happy days. See you. Uh, we'll get, get you on time lapse while we get set up, and we'll catch you soon. Well, we nearly forgot the saws all, but thanks to Alex, he threw it in the van. And then um, we just discovered we forgot the strong boys. This is me trying to be a hero, getting the van done back by myself. We should always do it together, mind you, we still forget stuff even together, don't we? Yeah. <clears throat> so we're just gonna, we're gonna have to just slot the crows in underneath the render. If it needs rendering, I mean, propping. if it needs propping, because with the rent, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's only a small opening. And with the, with the, the rendering to hold all that up, so yeah. we'll, we'll, okay, we'll see how it looks. We might just have to slip them out, put the lintel in and just reprop it. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll show you. The trim's off now, the trim's glued, so that's us from getting off. It's gone from this side. There's the old tray, no vents. So, um, I do think the, old, the idea of the old trays was to, for the water running on the train out to the sides and down the cavity. Hence, no vents for the water to get out. But now they're big on vents now, little plastic things. So, right, let's get this, these trestles set up and get the um, see what the mortar's like. Get the um, our new Milwaukee drill out and so all.
Done with for now. There we go. Forgot the strong boys, of course, but we just get these tucked under the block work because there's no way that's going to fall. Not with this render on it, it's absolutely solid. No cracks, no marks. Great job. Just a shame about that. Just up, stay to that. It's weird how dry it is. But there's, the, there's the main bits. Just a little bit each end. Ten mil lump each end. That's what's done the damage. Or maybe not a bit more this end. Okay. Yeah, it's still wet under there. There's your fine example of your lump jacking. Weird. Yeah. So that's once you took the, the, the loose stuff off, you've probably got half the width, to, half the thickness of your steel left. So it's, it's pushing the brickwork up and disintegrating at the same time. So I'm going to run the hoover along here and get all this rust off or brush it off. And as you can see, we've got a nice conditioned tray with this wooden lint at the back. So we're going to keep this tray. We're going to cut it right off at the top so there's a lip. Tuck our tray underneath the lip, tack a couple of nails in, jobs are good. One. And then we can put our little back, prop off the frame that we've, that we've got here. Oh, we've noticed we've um, put polystyrene in. Luckily, enough, that was in the skip, so they've just had all the glass renewed to get rid of the lead on the glass. So uh, we're protecting the new glass, protecting the sill with them. Um, is it just for Does decorative purposes, the lead, or does it actually do something? No, it's just purely decorative. Bit of an 80s thing, that, the leaded windows. It's a big, big back in the 80s. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's all hoovered out. Just need to get get this off, get that out, which is not affixed to anything. There's no silicon on it. It's not bedded down. It's not plastered in. Just hopefully the, uh, the plasterboard on the inside isn't attached to it. I don't think it is. So we'll be able to lift that up and slide it out. It's going to be tough with these in the way, but we can actually take one of these out because, like I say, the render's doing all the work. And it's uh, lightweight bot work as well, so let's get this thing out. Yeah. Doesn't take a lot just to uh, completely ruin the brickwork. Doesn't look like a lot, but that's enough just to sabotage it. No, the fuel this is obviously uh, really good. Just feed it to me. 
It's done. Toss it. Thank you. Gonna pass it back down. Yeah. <laughs> but the little fits. Eh? The little fits. Oh, that would have been a great shot coming past the camera. I'm well, sure we'd do it again. We know yeah. it fits in. Insulation cutting first with the angle in pull, and we need a nail to nail in to stop it tipping back. So the insulation first. Insulation up out, please. Yeah. So, what's the best course of action? Then we just look at the picture and you tell me what piece you want, and I'll pass the pieces up as you need them. I think so, yeah. I should actually put them in there as they go up, lay them out. Yeah.
Yep. Blade on the floor. You like these that are a couple of courses. If you're going to pack them, you've got to pack all three. Otherwise, as you pack the top, it just sinks through the two. So you've got to line the packers up with each other. I don't like doing that very often, but I've got to do on this. Is there any side you can do? Uh, not really, not until the um, scaffold moves. I can do the heat gun in this. I've still got it. I don't think I took it out of the vent. Some water. Good. Right, I just need to point down there for you.
some. That's the stone work done. Very uh, nice job by Mr. Stephen Kennedy. Don't use fettling yet. It's very wet. Don't give it too. Don't, don't go too close. <laughs> right. Well, but you heard it from him. He's still going to have a bit of fettling, but there you go. Exactly how it was. Minus like the breakage, which we've managed to fix. So obviously, we're going to get the rest tidied up now. Or oh, you can see the trusses have been moved. So yeah, get everything else moved away what we can. Get back and do that a bit later when it's dried up a bit. That's just got the base of it done. And then we've got the trim to go on and that should be it. So we will... We'll see you for the finale. on the bottom back edge and the top back edge. Right. Grab it there. Where I've got it. And that's how you do it. Marvellous. That's the trim on. 
New lintel. Well, sh uh, start in order, shall we? New lintel on. Weep vents in. Cavity tray. New trim. Lovely. So there we go. Oh, the only back's gone. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching, if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you'll know when we upload, that's always a massive help for the channel, we appreciate that. Any additional support anyone would want to give, there's the super thanks under the video, or there's the PayPal and Dad's description, that's not necessarily by any means but that's a massive way to support the channel and it is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with a... Uh, Nice stone lintel for a change, and we'll see you in the next one.